Three MCs in one DJ. Oh, <clears throat> hey guys, name's Fen playing some Mystic Shadows of the Warrior of the Colossus. AKA Thief, the ruined square version. Last time I left off, very abruptly I was down there plucking a moss arrow from like a tree or something. It was absolutely hysterical, mate. But this time I'm going to do a non-blind run because I played a lot, a lot, a lot last time, but I cut it all off because I was just me complaining and whining about how long it is. But this time I'm just gonna act like it's the start of another mission. I still think this mission is way too long. Like, why tack on a completely other theme, even though the Bone Horde did it, so never mind. But yeah, I'm just going quickly back in here because I think I was thinking about some, uh, hole in the bottom floor that I couldn't figure out how to get up into. I'm just going to demonstrate that is uh, okay, okay. Okay, so this thing here, I stacked up some items and then got up there and it was hilarious. But, in actual fact, you kind of, uh... Take your entrance room, and you add a little cup of flour, and you end up here, which is some place or other you end up in that room. But it's really confusing around here, and I don't even know what the hell's going on. So I guess you kind of go this way, and you come upon a room with a hole in the floor at some point. But it's it's a stupid hidden puzzly room. There it is, so that's what this is. And if you kind of go on here, you can go into the uh, library. There's a noble woman walking. There is where I read a book. On a topic of here. something or other. Stop. And there's nothing else in the library. Okay, okay. At least not that I could find. And I'm not gonna go through all these books. Do I look like a book looker? Mook, nook, cook, crook. Sure, I'm cracking actual jokes. Oh, and also, by the way, we got the guardroom key. So what happens with the guardroom <laughs> is that they uh, get all up in your face or something. Anyway. You think they're getting up in your face, but really they're just all running to the bathroom. It's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> But I thought they were all running up in my face that one time, so that one time nobody saw, so there's a bit of loot and some arrows or something. Not really much in here, but, uh, you know, I guess they just stay in there forever, so let's leave them to their misery. But the deliveries that I'm making them shivery, I'm taking my little city to lyrical liberty. I go for the customer to grow up. So, as I may or may not have said before, this place is actually pretty lovely, even though it's simple. I mean, I think that sky makes it a bit lovely, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just kind of here. It, it's great and all, but it's just this, it's so long, I mean, you've already done the mansion, and now you gotta do this other part, and I just kept playing, and I just wanted it to end because I was thinking, well, it's gotta be finished, and I was just frustrated that it wasn't finished. I mean, it wasn't that it was bad, necessarily, I was just like, come on, you know what I'm saying? So, let's treat it like a, a new mission, alright? A new mission without any screens, or loadouts, or mission completes, or button clickings, it's... High technology we got up in here, ho 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 yes, but the problem with this is that since it's tacked on at the end of another mission, I've already, uh... What? Oh. I don't have any of those things. Well, I mean, I've already... Okay, whatever, never mind that. I was gonna say I've already done most of the objectives. Well, I've done most of the interesting stuff, and it, and it that book even said that this place uh, would not have any readables because these caves, which have the illusion of a sky, for some reason, are all damp and musty and moldy, so... There ain't, ain't no readables, so gameplay-wise, this section is a little less interesting than it could be. There's a bunch of guards just walking around sparsely. Ah, uh, dang it. And, you know, I just mixed feelings. I mean, it is a really cool-looking place aesthetically, but why couldn't it be its own mission, and why couldn't he have put readables in here? Why do you have to have an excuse? Or something. I don't even think there's loot. It's just weird. It kind of gave me that fatigue feeling that I got from uh, the art of thievery when uh, I did the whole house and then I went into the north wing and the north wing was like twice as big as the rest of the freaking house and every room was huge. Well, I mean, this is not quite the same. I mean, this is more interesting kind of visually, but, you know, I, I don't know what to say, but I just feel like something about this kind of irked me, but uh, enough, enough, now I'm just complaining again. Well, I'm, I'm not really, I'm saying, oh boy, I sure did complain. Oh, how thirsty I was. Oh, but anyway, it is very good looking. Like, again, I just don't know why I think it's good looking. I mean, you think, well, it's blocky, it uses stock textures, it's like, embarrassingly blocky. Well, yeah, it is, but again, it's like, it's not what it technically looks like, it's what it kind of looks like it's supposed to be representing, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like how in, uh, the original Heroes Quest, when you go to Uranus Peace, yeah, it's all EVGA and 
16 color and low res, but design of Arana's piece is still one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in games. It's kind of like what this is, I guess. Also, what the hell am I even doing? There's some... What? There's... What? Oh, he's killing a spider. Yeah, Hornaquintus. I guess it's interesting how the guards kill stuff, apparently. <laughs> I guess I didn't notice that before or something. I guess that makes it feel a bit more alive. But yeah, the book said these... It's just such a weird idea. Like, why is there a mansion underground in the first place? Never explained. And then here the dude decides he wants to do a non-underground thing, so he makes up some bizarre excuse about the caves uh, being... having an illusory sky. Like, I, it all just seems like he kind of came up with it and then came up with a, a reason for it that sometimes is a little... Uh, uh -huh. But I mean, like, look at that. It really is beautiful in a PlayStation-y kind of way, but yeah. I think you're, yeah, you're supposed to... Oh. Man, I did this a trillion times without problems on the last play. Actually, no, you're not even supposed to do it. You're supposed to do this. Uh, but you can get up there, and I think if you do, you might get rewarded with some arrows or something. <laughs> gonna do this on camera if it's the last thing I eat for breakfast. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think there may be some arrows or something up here. I don't know. I, maybe not. But yeah, this is just kind of here. Very nice, very, very, very nice visual design, and I've really got nothing else to say. I guess I could also have climbed up this way. That is another thing. So that's that, that's the purpose of this, but then I... Oh boy, then I gotta mumble. Oh boy, oh Birdo. Okay, so you're supposed to do this. That's, that's right, I think. Unless I'm wrong again. I am wrong, aren't I? Yeah. Now I don't remember what to do now. Wait! I freaking remember. There's, there's a lot of confusing nooks and crannies that look like they could be progress, but aren't. I remember, and I gotta get back up here again. Why can't I jump? You've got the longest jump ever you are in this engine. Come on. Yes, you have to go up here, and then look to your right, and... This is, this is kind of cool, you know? It, it is kind of cool. I was just like... Yesterday, I was like, freaking really this place? Freaking really? But, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. It's memorable. It's that, you know, it's certainly that. Come on. It's definitely memorable. Now... I think we've got to go up there or something, but if you go in here, there's, uh, some other spider. I don't believe there's literally anything here, but, uh, you know. No! <sighs> okay, there's literally nothing there. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. All right. Yeah, all right. But, yeah, but, uh... I thought that somebody told me there was four missions in this campaign, but I thought that I interpreted from the thread that there was only two, but I could have misread. Maybe it was that it contained his first two missions plus two more or something? I don't know. Oh, this place. Oh! <laughs> this place. Boy, I had a heck of a time with this place. Boiler alert! It contains gophers that pop out of the ground and lisp. No, it doesn't. It contains, like, slight challenge or something. I think there's two. Yeah, there's two guys walking around. At least they're not monkeys jumping on the bed. Instead, they're walking on the bed. So, no misinterpretations will occur. So if you're if you're happy enough to jump on your bed, as everybody obviously does, people will not be in the next room going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but, uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I mean, there's just, like, nothing here ever. <laughs> so it's best to just avoid these guys. Honestly, you can go all the way around, but really, there's... I don't think there's any loot, and anyway, I've got my loot pool, and there's no readables. By definition, well, there may be some arrows around, actually. So I might have missed some of those back there, but honestly... Who the heck? Okay, I'll take a quick run. I'll take a quick run over there. And just, you know, see. Well, I do have one flash bomb. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna get to that guy in time. Also, there's a third guy. Okay, well, <laughs> never mind. There's nothing in there in those nostrils. I don't even think they're playing the music or anything. And this is just a big old kind of space that's just sort of there. And you can climb this ladder if you want. But I don't even remember why you'd even want to do that. There's two ways to go. Maybe this is even forward. Yeah, that leads down to the stairs for some reason. Again, like, I don't know why you'd want to go down there. This is nothing. And this place up here is, I don't even remember. Let's see. Oh, is this progress? This is pro- oh shoot. Okay, you tapper. Right. Our fat move, and you're dead. 
Crap. Good. Okay, but I'm still going down here to get the gas arrows because it's useful. Yeah, I mean, this place is hella memorable, but it just seems... It's just something about it that just seems a little off. It's just it's a little messy. It, it just seems like the way he built it was a little haphazard or something. I don't know. I just got that kind of feeling like there wasn't quite as much focus as you might... Why? Yeah, I don't know. It feels like he built this space first, and he's like, okay, I guess I'll have a path over there, and... Because he wouldn't really build that huge a space just for some gas arrows. It seems like he put him in after the fact. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm just conjecturing over here. But, uh... Yeah, okay. If there's a ladder, I guess it means progress, because, you know, there's a ladder. Okay, yes. And... and here we go. Torch putting out land for you. Hello? Show yourself. Oh, God. Oh, hey. I, 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 I won! Yeah, the thing is, I mean, there's... <laughs> I'm running out of things, of new things to say in Thief, to be perfectly honest. I played so many missions that... That's why I'm so energetic when I play a new game, because I've got new stuff to comment on. <laughs> new jokes to make and all sorts of stuff like that. But uh, here, especially in this part, I mean, it's, it's pleasant enough, but there's like, nothing for me to talk about. Except, there's these symbols on the walls, which I miss all the time. There's an onk. Two-sided onk. There's the gear, which which are just cool. I mean, you know, again, and they're it's just neat that they're carved in the architecture. I, I think it's because they're so simple and they look so pure. Like they're not all all fanciful and like trying to be super real. So because they're just like really honest, like using the tech of the time, it ends up looking awesome. If that makes any sense. This is kind of me waxing serious in this episode. Wax on, wax off. That is how you be serious. As you can see though, like, we're already 12 minutes in here, so you can imagine how long this was. But that, that is an awesome use of the stock textures and, like, shapes to make a grill. That is a sweet looking grill. Like, this... This has the twang. This is, like, reminding me of some old console game, like, whoa. A 64 or a PlayStation or something. We're just... It's just in some way, like, it's got that cool, nostalgic kind of, just, just like we've got basic tech, we've got, like, polygons, basic lighting. I think I got that guy alerted. You know, basic textures, and you just make stuff that looks cool. All chunkily, but, uh, just... Because everything is low-tech, it just kind of looks cool and nothing looks missing. It's like the reverse Uncanny Valley, where you go way over the other side and it just looks adorable. I'm pretty much repeating myself, yep, and I got no more flash bombs. Don't make me come find you. Don't think, anyway. Hopefully I get some at some point. Yeah, sometimes you can't really... Ah. Sometimes you can't really. That's some uh, nice use of wall textures. <laughs> <laughs> nice indeed. Also, I forgot this uh, ladder. Damn. The atmosphere here is just cool. You, see, you notice I'm like completely conflicted. Oh, there is some loot here about my opinions <laughs> about this thing. It's something you may notice. But be honest, it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> and there's just these guys walking around being a complete nuisance. But not being completely interesting. I, th I think I feel... What might be missing is the, um, the little things, like, this is magnificent broad architecture, but there needs to also be smaller scale stuff to balance it out. I mean, I'm no game dev, I'm just tucking out my ass from what I've seen playing games my whole life, but, you know, uh, there needs to be, like, this big non-interactable oh world to be all majestic, but then there needs to be a few, like, smaller things that are interactable, and there needs to be a good balance of both. At least, you know, that's well, my feelings on the matter from playing games a lot, you know. No pro here, but hey. Yeah. But hey, you know, there's different philosophies. I mean, Shadow of the Colossus has, like, literally nothing going on ever except for the bosses. Ah! Oh. And there are people who love the crap out of that game. Well, there's there's minor stuff to do, but it is... To me, I wish there was more, but that's neither here nor there. And that's kind of why this reminded me of Shadow of the Colossus, I guess. <laughs> Though I never finished that game, but I had the ending spoiled to me at some point, unfortunately. Apparently it was supposed to be all emotional. And I can see why, but again, see what I'm talking about other games. <laughs> uh. But yeah, this is just like really good art. It's just too bad I feel like kind of kind of like understimulated or something. 
in here. Actually. Oh. Okay, here comes. We're coming now up to the part which is right around where I ended. I don't know what these guys are doing. I guess this is. Oh, yeah, that's the lady and her guards, I guess. They're just sort of stopped there, and if you uh, take one out, you take everybody out. Oh, but I can use a gas arrow. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of this. Had I thought of this, I, I may have thought of it. <laughs> All right, that doesn't kill. There's the lady. She probably doesn't have a name. No. Now, uh, here is where I left off, and then because uh, I got really frustrated because I missed out on this. I slid down a slope, and I missed out on this awesome water thing with a corpse with nostrils. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm just, uh... I guess they all lead to Rome up there, huh? So let's see if I can go in here. Perhaps in one of the... Oh. Am I supposed to be able to get back up this way then, perhaps? Perhaps I screamed in agony at the end of that lost footage video completely in vain, hmm? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, as you can see, there's a big ice slope up there. Maybe you can't see that, but... What the hell's going on? Do we even have a breath? Yes. Ample. Two is... Maybe ample. Ample cores to do a lot of stuff. Oh. I thought this stuff zoomed me up in here. Yeah, seriously. What? A okay, so that's how you get back. I guess this is just like... Hey, there's... Oh, there's a thing in this thing. Come on, then. Come on, then. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there it is. It's like freaking right here. So... <laughs> thwarted it again. Oh, that looks so cool. Well, there's the Widow's Eye Gemstone. I don't know why the hell I would take it. Seeing as it caused nothing but misery, actually, yeah, why would I take it? I mean, the problem's already been solved. I just kill the li- These mushrooms are following me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that is some silly-ass nonsense. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, but seriously, gotta be careful here. Some of these things speed you around. I guess that one does, and that one, but not some of them. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh. <sighs> okay, don't go down the ones that speed. Sheesh, currents. Just, okay, stay calm and just don't die. Oh, I seem to have come out. Oh, I came out on this side. Okay, good, excellent. So, progress. Uh, find a way into the mountains. Oh, so really, I guess I'm done the mission. Well, interesting. Presumably, the mountains will occur at some point. After another 10,000 million miles <laughs> open road. Oh, here we are. Awesome. And time has passed. Well, I pretty much gave my thoughts on that mission already. So, wow, I missed a lot of loot, though. So, yeah, I guess that's that. Another quote-unquote short video. Now, I just I want to see if... Uh, if there really is a third mission. There is. Okay, well, next time will be the City Public Waterworks. Spoiler! And, uh, you know, bye for now.